What is going on everyone? Grunge Lab Gaming back here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how you guys can get back into the lobbies that you belong in in Apex Legends Season 13. In this video, I'll be going over all the methods on how to do so. So while you're in your games, you don't always have to worry about going up against predators and masters, and you can have an enjoyable casual experience instead of always having to sweat it out in every single match you play of this game. Before we get into it, if you guys want to see more content like this, definitely consider subscribing. It comes at no cost to you and you could always unsubscribe later. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. The first method I'll be going over is the Wi-Fi method. What you'll need to do for this method is start queuing into a game. While it is queuing, you're going to need to go out of the game and then go into your settings and disconnect your Wi-Fi for one second. Once you go back into the game, you should notice that your character is a little laggy. Now once it fixes itself and it is still queuing, you're going to want to go back out and disconnect your Wi-Fi for one second again, and you'll need to do this until the match queues. Basically what this does is it ends up disabling the skill based matchmaking while you are queuing. So what should then happen when you load in is you will be in a lobby where your skill based matchmaking rank didn't play a factor in you getting into that lobby. If you are fast enough you can also use an internet cable or a mobile hotspot when using this. As well if you leave it off for more than a second the game will end up kicking you so you want to be very careful about turning your Wi-Fi right back on once you turn it off. Now moving on to the next method, this method is also very simple. What you'll need to do for this method is load up the training mode. Once you queue into the training mode, you'll just need to complete it as usual. After you complete the training mode, let the game return you into the lobby. When you return to the lobby, you should be lifeline, and that's how you'll know you've done it right. From here, you can just start up a match and then play it like normal. And basically by doing this, the game thinks you're a new player, so it's gonna send you immediately into a fair lobby, a very casual lobby. What's nice about this method is it also resets you back. That way, instead of struggling in high lobbies that you just can't make any traction in, it will reset you down a little bit, so then you can work your way back up, and you'll actually be able to have a fair experience in your lobbies. And you should notice that your lobbies are feeling very fair. Now moving on to the last method, this method is the most reliable method that we have to date in the game. And what this method also does is just set you back a little bit so you're not stuck in very high skilled lobbies and build up skill as a player. Instead of going to lobbies where you just die off of spawn and you really can't learn anything or improve at Apex, what you will need to do for this is queue into a no fill match of duos or trios. Once you make it into the game, you'll just need to fly towards the edge of the map. Now while you are flying to the edge of the map, definitely make sure to clear out your entire inventory. Once you make it to the edge, just land on the edge and then immediately jump off. Once you jump off, you should be eliminated and then you can leave the game and return back to the lobby. Once you repeat this three to five times and then go into a game and play it normally, you should notice that the lobbies become easier, they're fairer to play in, and all around you should have a much better experience playing Apex Legends once you do this. Now how this method works is it basically drops your skill based matchmaking ranked. It tells the game that you're a bad player because you're losing almost instantly. Now usually when you are in hard lobbies, eventually it will drop you but after 30 games of suffering. And all this method is doing is just expediting the process so you can end up getting back into the lobbies that you belong in. As always, when you feel your lobbies becoming unbearable again, definitely make sure to repeat any of these methods and your lobby should return to normal. If any of these methods become patched, I will make sure to update you in the pinned comment down below. And with all that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. A big thank you to my subscribers and channel members. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all around later. Bye guys.